I tell you what, that prayer, it's like that, that longing for God becomes so <coughs> intense. So instead of keep longing, I just feel the pain of what appears as separation. I mean, I'm trying to yeah, if you're feeling life. pain in the longing, See, see, longing or desire does not create pain. It, it, there's not a pain, but it just feels so intense. It's, it's like life's not complete without that. Yeah, and the truth is, life isn't. Mm -hmm. But you know, so feel, but feel there are inside of yourself. If I can deal with your issues specifically, mm -hmm. there are some emotions of unworthiness that cause you to believe that no matter how long you, much you long for God, God is not going to answer you. Right. And so there's some emotions that you need to let yourself experience about that. Let yourself feel those emotions. And it's interesting, though, and I know those emotions come up for you when you're praying. Right? And that's often the way it happens, is because we feel those underlying emotions and allow them to come up. Yeah. I don't really have a reference to what God is or a desire to long for it. I feel like I have to get desperate for it. Um, <laughs> You do have to get this before. <laughs> In a way, like God, God created this quality called passion, right? Like it's not the olden day version of passion, which was usually pain. I'm talking about this really strong, passionate desire within us. Now, passion activates everything. Like desire activates everything in God's universe, including God responding to you. So at some point, each of us need to come to actually, in our soul, in this part of us, start having a desire or passionate longing for God. Now, we can do that without really knowing who God is at this point. One of the passionate desires we can have is actually coming to understand who God is. So that can be a passionate desire in itself. Now, if you had a passionate desire to understand God, what would you do? You would probably start reading lots of material about God, letting yourself feel as you're reading the material, what might resonates, what doesn't. You know, you probably read through the pageant messages, you read through channel material that's about divine love, and you, you know, start connecting with God. Now, how many of you have attended these talks? And, and I know this is a pointed question, but how many of you have attended these talks, and I've talked about the pageant messages, and I've talked about the Robert James Lee's books in almost every talk. How many of you have ever read a word of them? about half. So the other half of you, you need to ask yourself, are you really passionate? Are you really passionate about coming to know the truth? Oh, yeah, I guess. How do you become passionate and how do you create a longing if it's just not there? It's a very good question. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> how many of you feel that you sort of like got an interest but not, you know, just like, when you go home tomorrow, you'll get involved in your life and, you know, it might come up again next week or you might get an email from Grant and it'll come up then. Or, do you know what I mean? How many of you feel like that with your, with your whole life with regard to spiritual development? How many of you feel like your spiritual development is your life? Right? So quite a few. Okay, that's really good. So, so how did you get from this one place to this other place? Pain. Pain. So for many of you it was pain. Do I need to experience pain to be passionate? No. 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 But often what happens, for many people, as you can see in the audience, for many people, often what happens is they go through lots of pain first and then they realise they need to become passionate. So my suggestion is don't do that, if you can help it. Right? If you're not in a state of pain now, don't try and create one just to become passionate. The key is to start opening up yourself at the soul level. And you open up yourself at the soul level through desire. So it's only generating a longing in the soul that actually creates this opening up of the soul. And that's a longing for truth in the end. So I know you're here because you have a longing for truth. You want to know what the truth is. There's already a passion inside of you to know truth, right? So what you, what you do is you find out all the things that you are passionate about and then sit down with all of that and let yourself feel about how you generated those passions. And in almost every case, it was by you coming to know about it and then wanting to know more about it. And eventually, that wanting to know more became a desire. And eventually, it became a passionate desire. And that's how you generate passion in the end. So it doesn't, it doesn't come from apathy. We can't just sit down and wait for passion to enter us. You need to 
focus on that feeling of that wanting, reaching out for God or whatever. And reaching out for truth, even even if you're not, even if you don't believe God exists really at this point, even the longing for reaching out for truth. Just say to God, look, I don't really believe you exist, really, right? So be honest. I don't really believe you exist, but if you exist, bring me some truth because that's the thing I'm really interested in, right? And and see what happens. Set, you know, start having a longing for that and see what happens. And in the end, you'll find God responding. And let yourself feel those responses that are going, going on. So how many of you are not firmly convinced God really exists? Right? Would there be quite a few? Yeah. Okay. So, so how do you ever know whether God exists? Well, firstly, set, this is where the truth sets you free. Right? It's not God setting you free, even. It's the truth that sets you free. Because when you start having a longing for truth... Then all these other things come to you. So just try setting your intention. I want more truth in my life. I want truth in my personal life. I want truth in my emotions. I want truth about the universe. I want all of this to come to me, and I really want it, and I really want to start getting some passion about that. And then see what attraction happens after that. Just notice, the next week, what happens to you. What emotions are coming up. And you'll see there is a response. Right? And the key is then to build on that response that occurs. But if it's not pure from your heart, then there will be no response. So that's one of the laws of God, in fact. 